All right, next is from Matt Murray. What are your thoughts on neighborhood yard sales versus individual yard sales? It's Wednesday morning, and yesterday I listed 45 eBay items. So I made a lot of sales in the last 24 hours. I've got, I think, about 25 orders that I got to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first two things are right here. I went ahead and just pulled these from storage. This is a lot of patches. I had these listed for the longest time for around $20 or so free shipping. And I sent out an offer to some watchers for $11 free shipping and one accepted. I also sent out an offer on this putter. I picked this up for $5. It is a Woolsey or Woozy. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it is Lucite. Kind of a different looking funky putter. Got it set a garage sale for $5. Had it listed for the longest time for about, I don't know, $25 or so. And I sent out an offer to some watchers for $16 plus shipping and one of them accepted. And it was actually a viewer that accepted this offer. Wendy bought this for her husband, John. So Wendy, thank you for the support and I really hope he likes this putter. Okay, next is an A6. I'm just gonna bring this whole tub over because I think I sold quite a few things out of here. Alright, first order we're pulling out of here is three items. It's two NES games. We've got Super Off-Road, Game Genie, and Tiny Toon Adventures right there. These three sold for $37.47 free shipping. And those three are going out to a viewer named Corey. Corey, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing we're pulling out of here is this Game Boy. Um, this is also part of that big video game buy I just made. Unfortunately, it did not work, so I had to sell it as is. It sold for $29.99, free shipping. Sold another NES game, Super Mario Brothers 2. This sold for $18.99, free shipping. Sold Ninja Turtles right here for $11.99, free shipping. Sold Lego Batman 3 for PS4. Uh, that sold for $11.99, free shipping. Sold Mario Brothers Duck Hunt with the owner's manual. I think the owner's manual added a little bit of value to it. This sold for $9.99, free shipping. And the last thing we're pulling out of here is Jaws. That sold for $9.99 free shipping. All right, next down here in E6. This is also an offer that I sent out. This is an old Shriners hat. They call it a Fez. I dug this out of the storage unit, so I bought it. I remember now. Um, I listed it for like, I don't know, 40 best offer. Sent out an offer to some watchers for $25 plus shipping, and one of them accepted. All right, go up to E3 now, and I've got quite a bit in here. This is a heavy one. First thing we're pulling is this lot of 10 NES games. These weren't worth listing individually, so I decided to just do one big lot of them. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm pulling out of here is a Wii Sports game. This one had lots of scratches, so didn't test it to see if it would work. Just sold it as is for $8.99 for shipping. Next is this Game Boy Advance. I got this to turn on, but it wouldn't play any games, so I sold it as is for $17.99 free shipping. I'm just going to ask if you're named MJ. MJ, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next is this Nintendo Wii, and there's a handful of Wiis in that video game lot I just bought. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a good working sensor, so I made a couple unique bundles uh this weed did work it played a game and i had the power cord and the av cord so i just sold it like this so no Wii motes just the av cord the uh, power cord and the Wii. this combo sold for 34.99 plus shipping all right last thing we're pulling out of e3 is all of these nes controllers there were two nes systems in that video game lot that i got unfortunately both of them just had flashing lights couldn't get them to play a game. They probably need 72 pin connector replacements, which I really don't want to do. So I just decided to sell these controllers as a uh, as is lot. It's five controllers and three zappers. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next is over here in B3. This is a Max brand electronic stapler, EH70F. I got a big box of these at a garage sale for like 20 bucks. There was like 10 of these and then maybe five or six other various staplers. So I've maybe got, I don't know, a couple of dollars into this. Tested it out, it worked great. Really hard to find comps on this thing. I saw some new ones active for around $200. I couldn't find any sold listings. So I listed all of mine at $100 or best offer and wasn't getting any offers or anything, but I did get some watchers. So I sent out a best offer of $45 plus shipping and someone accepted. Never thought that I would sell a used stapler for 45 bucks. 
All right, next is in B2. Actually, I got a number of things out of there, so. First are these Pendleton wool shirts that I just picked up. These are size medium, so I knew they'd be a little bit harder to sell, but I did get a watcher shortly after I listed them, and he was interested in both of them. I think I had them both listed for like $25 each plus shipping. He offered me $20 each plus shipping to just go ahead and buy both of them, and I accepted. Next is this Mickey Mouse polo, uh, vintage Disney fashions Mickey Mouse golf polo. Got this at the same sale as the Pendleton shirts. I have $5 each into the Pendleton shirts, and this I only have a quarter into. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. A couple more things I'm pulling out of B2 that sold this Wii Sports game. Uh, this one did work. This sold for $14.99 free shipping, just a disc, and a pair of Wiimotes. These sold for $29.99 free shipping. And I sold another Wii bundle. This is just like the other one. It's the console power and the AV didn't have controllers or the uh, sensor. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Right, next is a B4. This is a Cleveland Indians jacket. It is a Cooperstown collection. Got this at a garage sale for $10 maybe, I don't know, three weeks ago. I listed it yesterday for I think $60 or best offer. Someone sent an offer of $45 plus shipping and I accepted. That jacket's going out to your name, Ryan. Ryan, thank you for the support and I'm assuming you're a Cleveland Indians fan so... I'm hoping they have a great season. I'll be rooting for them until they play the Reds, of course. Next is over here in E4. This is a King Griffey Jr. book. I got this at a garage sale maybe five or six weeks ago. I got a dollar into it. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. That same buyer who got the King Griffey Jr. book messaged me about this record. Wasn't planning on listing it, but she lives in Hawaii, and she said this is a Hawaiian comedian. I just got this last weekend at a garage sale for a dollar, and she bought it for $6.99, free shipping. Both this and the book are going out to a viewer who is a repeat buyer named Christina. Christina, thank you so much for all your support. Really hope you like this stuff. All right, last thing we're pulling is in D4. This is a lot of six old Tarzan books. A couple of them not in the best condition. Took a best offer on these of $20 plus shipping. It's Thursday afternoon, I'm back in the garage sales. Got some eBay orders to ship. First is right here in E3. This is a Sony PS2 Slim. Uh, got this in the recent video game buy. Had to sell it as is. It powered on, but I couldn't get it to play a disc. This sold for $26.99, free shipping. Right, next is an A6. Actually sold a number of things out of here, so we're just gonna pull the whole bin. Let's see, first is a lot of Sega Game Gear games. When I made the listing for this, I typed in Sega and it auto-corrected it to swag. And I thought I changed it, but then it must have auto-corrected it again. So this was listed as swag Game Gear games, but they still sold. Uh, there's seven of them, I think. They sold for $19.99, free shipping. Okay, also in here I sold a couple of games. I think the first one is this right here, Atelier Iris 3, I might be mispronouncing that. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. This could have brought more, but it had a decent amount of scratches, so I sold it untested. I also sold another game in here untested, this right here. This is Maximo uh, versus Army of Zen, and I didn't realize that it's only the demo disc. Had this listed for like $20, and a viewer reached out and said, hey, just to let you know it's just a demo disc. I said, oh, thanks for the heads up, and um, He's like, you know, I'd be interested in this one too. And I was like, that's fine. Let's just do $5 free shipping because he bought this one too. So this one sold for $4.99 free shipping. These are both going out to viewer named MJ. MJ, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next is Super Mario Brothers Wii. This one sold for $22.99 free shipping. Going over to A1 next. This is one of the uh, Nintendos I just got in that recent buy. This one didn't work and it has some cracks on the door so I made sure I pointed that out. Uh, this sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next is in B1. This is a lot of 20 games. Uh, Wii, Xbox, Xbox 360, I think there's a PS3. None of these are particularly great games so I just sold them all as one lot for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, moving over to C4 next. Sold these Dayton Dragon collectible mascot set. Uh, these are not bobbleheads. These are just like little wobblers, I think. This is the single A affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds, minor league team up in Dayton, Ohio. These sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is a box of Pez right over here. I decided to do an auction with these and I was kind of surprised how well they did. Started it at 99 cents and it sold for $35 plus shipping. There's a total of 72 Pez, so they sold just under 50 cents each. All right, last thing are these two PS3 systems right here. Uh, these unfortunately did not work. They powered on, wouldn't play a disc. Decided to sell the pair as a set for $34.99 plus shipping. 
Those PS3s are going out to your name, Chris. So Chris, thank you for the support, man. I hope you get those things up and running. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. I've got 17 eBay orders to ship out. First is this Babe Ruth bat. I listed this yesterday, actually. I found it yesterday, listed it yesterday, and it sold yesterday. I had this up on my front door. I was ready to put it in my storage unit. And that's where I keep, like, bats and golf clubs and, you know, long pieces like this. I paid 15 for this, and it sold for $39.99. Well, shipping. This is going to ask a viewer named Adrian. Adrian, thank you for the support. I really hope you like this bat. Next is a pint glass right here. I've got a whole box of these, and I think I've still got at least seven or eight of them left. This is a uh, Miller Lite Barry Sanders Pro Football Hall of Fame pint glass. I've got less than a dollar into this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in A4. This is a Polar um, heart rate monitor I picked up last weekend. I paid $2 for it, and it sold for $11.99. Plus shipping. Next, we're coming over here to E3. Sold a couple things out of here, actually. First is this original NES. This did not work, so I sold it as is for parts for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a PS2 Slim. It's a silver. This is the one console out of that lot that did work, and it sold for $74.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in B6. I suspect there is more than one item out of here that's sold, so I'm just going to pull the whole bin. I got this Griffey jersey yesterday. Um, bought it yesterday, listed it yesterday, and it sold yesterday. I paid 5 bucks for it, listed it for $30, and someone sent me a best offer of $25 plus shipping, and I accepted. A viewer named Jeffrey bought that jersey, and he sent me a message saying, if you'll take $25, I promise to watch your next video. And I got a kick out of that. I thought that was pretty funny, so I took the offer. So Jeffrey, thank you for the support and make sure you hold up your end of the bargain and watch that video. All right, I got the other jerseys in here, but they haven't sold yet. Oh, I know what I sold. This is a Metallica cassette tape. This is the one cassette tape I pulled and listed separately from all the other ones. I've got, I don't know, maybe 10 cents into this, not much. Uh, this sold for $13.99 free shipping. And I also sold the Cincinnati Bengals Super Bowl shirt. I got this at a garage sale. Last weekend for a dollar, it sold for $29.99, free shipping. It's going out to a viewer named Brennan, and he says, Hey John, I'm a big fan of your YouTube, and it has inspired me a lot along my reselling journey. I'm a 17-year-old reseller, and your videos have helped me learn a lot about eBay. I'm a huge Bengals and Ohio State fan, so I had to pick this piece up. Thank you. Brennan, thank you so much for the business, and I wish you nothing but luck in your reselling journey. All right, moving right along. We're coming down here to C6. This is something that I listed maybe a month ago. This is a little Kittle doll. I pulled this out of the storage units that I recently bought, and this sold for $19.99, free shipping. Okay, next sale is three boxes. They're all up here. These are all the cassette tapes that I just found yesterday, and I listed them right away, and they sold right away. I did three different lots. Uh, two of them were 26, one of them was 27, and one buyer bought all three for $89.97 free shipping. Those are all going out to a viewer named Karen who has bought a ton of cassettes for me in the past. So Karen, thank you so much for your continued support and I hope you really like all those tapes. All right, next is in B3. This is an Adidas soccer jersey for the German national team. I've got a dollar or two into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Jorge. Jorge, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Next is in B1. This is a signed Robert England photo. He played Freddy Krueger. I pulled this out of my storage units that I just recently bought. This sold for $29.99 free shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Cody, and he says, Hey, bud, I'm a follower on YouTube. Love all your videos. This piece will go perfect in my wife's horror movie room. Keep up the great work. Cody, thank you so much for the support, and I hope your wife loves that picture. Next is back here in F5. This is the uh, Firefighter 911 um, commemorative action figure. I got this from a recent book buy I did from my buddy Dan. Um, I probably only have a few bucks into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is down here in A5. Sold this Martel Cognac hat. I've got just over a dollar into this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Correction, it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is in C2. This is a set of Panasonic phones uh, with two bases. I got this for $2. It sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is up here in C7. Let's see, this box right here. 
This is a Wally Dallenbach diecast car. I've got $5 into this. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling today is an A2. This is a Coca-Cola hat. I've got less than a dollar into this. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. This is going to ask your name Sam. Sam, thank you for the business. I hope you like the hat. Before I end this video, I want to answer some viewer questions. First is from Mary Caswell. Can you please tell me how much you charge for albums in your antique booth? Want to start picking them up? It varies. Uh, the cheapest I sell them for is about five bucks, and usually the most I sell them for is around 20. Depends on the artist, depends on the condition. Um, if I pick up some, you know, records at a garage sale or wherever, and the condition's just really bad, I don't even bother putting them in my booth. So they've got to at least, you know, have minimal scratches or be, you know, pretty close to mint before I'll put them in there. Um, there is an app called Discogs, D-I-S-C-O-G-S. I can put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out, but it gives you values for records. And I always price mine on the low end because I don't grade them and I want to be able to move stuff quick and give people a deal. I make money and I just replenish them. I've got no shortage of vinyl records right now, so I just like pricing them to sell. Okay, next is from Danny R. In the video when you're showing us what's sold and for how much, are you pausing the video and packaging that item or are you setting them off to the side until the end of the video? That is a very good question. So usually what I like to do is I'll pull at least five or six orders all in a row in one video clip and I'll just kind of set them aside and then maybe I'll pack them. Um, it's just a little bit easier that way when I'm shooting the video so I'm not like constantly starting and stopping a clip and packaging an item. So I'll try to shoot a video of me pulling a whole bunch of orders, then I'll try to get them all packed up and everything, and then I'll shoot some more. All right, next is from Matt Murray. What are your thoughts on neighborhood yard sales versus individual yard sales? Any red flags to look for in advertising? I've noticed the same person posting a yard sale every week, and they're just a pallet buyer, flipper, sell the good stuff on eBay and Amazon, blow out the junk at the weekly yard sale. Neighborhood yard sales, you can go to a lot more in a shorter amount of time, but typically speaking, there won't be as much stuff at each sale. So when people hear that their neighborhood's going to have a garage sale, they'll sometimes at the last minute just throw a table out there and just put maybe 10 things. So you might not get the quantity and quality at a neighborhood garage sale, but you can usually hit a lot more in a shorter amount of time. So that's why I typically still tend to go to neighborhood sales. If somebody's just having a sale on their own, you know, they understand that to get a draw of people, they view, they just got to have a lot of stuff out there. So it's hit or miss. And when I read ads, I try not to read too much into it of like, oh, they might not have what I'm looking for. Usually I just go to sales anyways, because a lot of the times the things that I buy aren't things that they advertise. One thing I think you can count on is when somebody advertises something and they highlight it like, oh, we've got Nintendo games or we've got sports memorabilia, we've got Legos they typically value that stuff pretty high and they know you know they know it's worth some money and they're going to price that stuff higher all right since it's the end of the week i'm going to update you guys on my momentum board i really have not been keeping up with this as well as i should have but this week i was diligent with how many listings i did each day and how much the listing price was so check it out monday i did 17 listings for 379 dollars tuesday i did 45 for 1010 wednesday i did 10 for 242 uh, Thursday I did 12 for 531 and today I did 9 for 732. Grand total for the week is 93 listings for 2894 and my current active listings are 364. For the pandemic hit and everything shut down, I think my active listings were like five or 600. I had them up, you know, fairly high and then I didn't list like anything for <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks. So my active listing just came down and down and down and down. So. Now the garage sales are back in the swing of things. I'm working a lot more now. I'm trying to get that active listings back up. But my sales have been really good too. So it seems like my average sell through rate on my 90 day total is like 2X, which is awesome. I can't complain about that. Um, I'm tracking my monthly sales too. April I did 66.04, uh, May was 49.22, June was really good, 84.27. And for July, I'm hoping to hit 10K. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.